I was scribbling on, on it after all. Okay. All right. So uh, the, here's what we just got for uh, conservation of mass. All right. So what we're going to do is take a look at this. The, this is the storage of the mass in the control volume. And uh, we're going to need to, we're going to need to uh, work with this a little bit to get it in a term that, or in a form that we, we, we can work with. And so there are a couple ways of, of doing this. I'm going to say that for, for I'm going to do a case where we assume that it is, uh, it's saturated. So uh, if the, the, the porous media is saturated, then uh, the saturation equals 1. And in that case, we've got this. This term here uh, is going to be that. Okay, because the, the, that's the saturation right there. We let that equal to, to 1. Okay, so this works down in the saturated zone, but up in the Veda zone, we, we, we need to have that term. We'll get to that. But th let me just show you how this works. Um, so this is the change in, that's the density there and the porosity. So we write this like this. We use the product rule. Uh, and expand the, those two terms out, okay? And then we say, well, um, this is the change in the porosity with time, so I'm going to Okay, so this term here becomes what I just wrote. Um, this, the derivative is now like that with the chain rule, okay? And this is just, just uh, I'm, it's one minus the porosity, and I can just stick that in there, it just equals one, and I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that to give me a, uh, another term. Okay, and then I'm gonna do something similar here. There's the porosity, and I'm gonna have the density. I'm gonna have one over density. And then I'm gonna do another chain rule. Okay. All right, so now there's dpdt, dpdt, um, and density. So those guys I can factor out. Yeah. The second to last term is that dp over dp. D rho. D rho. Okay. Is there yeah. a p and a row in here? There's yeah. Uh, no. There's p's and rows. Yeah. So okay. let me. So let, I'll, I'll make all the p's blue. So those are P's. Up here, there was no P, okay? But P is gonna be the, our, our, our dependent variable. We're gonna wanna solve for P, so we're, we've gotta get P in there. All right, so now I'm gonna group this guy here. So this is the, this thing right here, d porosity dp. Uh, that is how the pores change with the pressure, okay? So when the pressure changes, the pores are going to expand and contract. And that'll change the storage that we have in the, in the pores media. Um, and so that's going to be what we call the compressibility, the pore compressibility. This term right here, that's the, the, the this is, that's d rho dp divided by rho, okay? So d rho dp, that's how the density of the fluid 
changes with the pressure. So if you have a fluid, you change the pressure, you're going to change the volume because it's compressible. So all fluids are compressible. Stuff like water, it's pretty, the compressibility is pretty small, but it's compressible. Everything's compressible. So this term here is the fluid compressibility. And we've got the porosity here from, from right there. And then this, there's this guy here, one minus porosity plus. And then remember, we factored out these guys, the yellow, the, we've got factored out density and D, I'm going to make it very clear, P, D, T. Okay? So what we've got is this now becomes that. Okay? And this thing here is, this is, these are, this is the compressibilities of the fluid and the solid and the porosities. And so we can call that the storage, specific storage. Okay? And we'll probably just assume that's a constant. Now, this is, uh, this is the way that Compsol has, has it set up. When you go in to set up your problem, um, you'll, you'll, you'll start with this, and then you'll specify a storage model that allows you to go, and there's, there are a couple of ways of doing this, but, but what I'm showing you here is how Comsol has it set up. So you'll see that um, you, can, it, you, you need to provide the, uh, the formation compressibility and the fluid compressibility and the porosity, and then it goes and, and calculates up this term. And ultimately then what you end up with is that this term here becomes a function of pressure. So what we have, the concept then is that we've got this control volume and we've got fluid in it. The way that we change the storage of the fluid in there is by changing the pressure and we compress we change the pressure and we can uh, compress more fluid and compress the solids or decompress them okay and that's how the storage changes